Alright, we had a trailer drop for the latest Transformers film, Transformers 1. For the first time since 1986, this is an animated Transformers film instead of a live action one. And it is meant to cover sort of the origins of some characters and of the Cybertronian War. You see a young Optimus Prime, aka Orion Pax, and Megatron. And it's been interesting because we haven't really heard a whole lot about this one for really until now. So it's cool just to actually finally know more about it. For kind of my overall thoughts, I think this looks very interesting. There's a lot of stuff I like here. There's some things that I'm not really a fan of, but I do think this movie will be a fun time. But one thing I'm kind of realizing and maybe more fans should realize is that maybe this movie isn't really for me or you. This definitely seems to be leaning more towards being a kid's movie, which is totally fine but maybe it just won't live up to my expectations. So to kind of get into covering things from the trailer, one thing I want to point out is that the animation is pretty damn good. I do think that the first like little bit of the trailer looks a little iffy. I'm not really sure what it is. The one shot in particular, it's kind of a close up of this guy here. I believe people have said this is the character Darkwing. In any case, I feel like this looks a little video gamey. I don't know what it is. And I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It just kind of looks I don't know, just something about it seems a little off. Everything really past this point to me looks fantastic. I do like the overall aesthetic. You know, I do think the animation is beautiful and this is being done by ILM. So it's pretty cool to see them working on a completely animated movie. And the story for the movie, you know, I kind of dig it. You know, just starting off from a quote unquote beginning. A lot of people have been quick to point out certain things being different with this origin story for everything like Orion Pax working with Megatron and like the mines and stuff like that. But like, that's fine. There's been so many versions of Transformers at this point that have all been a little different in some way. Like, I don't really see why stuff like that is a big deal. Like, I'm pretty sure this has been stated from the beginning to be its own thing. And I dig, you know, them kind of exploring Cybertron and getting their T-Cogs and learning how to transform and this and that. Like, I don't know. There's just some pretty cool stuff here. I'm not sure this will be a mind-blowing story or anything like that, but right now it seems pretty solid. Now, next up with the character design, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock the biggest thing out of the way. I cannot stand the face designs. I heard about them looking more human-like from some leaks and stuff like that, but the extent that they are human-like, I just, I don't really like. I don't like when they kind of just look like big gray metal people. So like this is definitely just, <sighs> I'm just not a fan. Now, can I get over it to watch the movie? Of course. It's just not something that I prefer. But other than the faces, I actually dig a lot of the designs. I wouldn't say anything is particularly stand out, but there's some neat stuff going on here and I'm very interested to see more. Another big topic of discussion has been the voice cast. And I mean, for the most part, I dig pretty much everybody here. I actually think Chris Hemsworth, just from the few lines we get in this trailer, is doing a fantastic job as Orion Pax. I don't know what it is, but I really dig it. Brian Tyree Henry, he sounds fine as Megatron. I will admit, I'm not sure I'm really sold on it, but this is also meant to be a way younger Megatron to the point where he's, you know, he's D16. So that's kind of whatever, but I'm very interested to hear more from him. Scarlett Johansson sounds fine as Alita 1. I just kind of wish there was a bit more of a voice for Alita instead of it just being Scarlett Johansson just kind of talking. To me, that's what it sounds like. And that's not a knock on her acting or anything like that. It's just, to me, I feel like they kind of just told her, hey, just talk like you normally do. <laughs> and then Keegan-Michael Key, uh... <sighs> I'll be honest, I'm not really sure he fits for Bumblebee. I wasn't really feeling Bumblebee kind of at all in this trailer, or you know, B-127 as he's called. Nice Bumblebee movie reference there. And it's not like he sounds bad or anything, I'm just not sure that he fits Bumblebee. And then there's kind of the fact that he kind of just sounds like he's just playing himself, I guess. Another big talking point for this movie has been the humor. Like most people, I feel like I wasn't really anticipating the level of humor that they're going for here. Uh, there are a lot of jokes that work for me, though. I especially like the bit where they're going down the hill trying to transform and, you know, Ryan Pax is like, oh, where's my head? Stuff like that is pretty good. You know, I really think that worked and it's, you know, comedy aimed at what this franchise is. So I found that pretty cool. Bumblebee's whole thing about a nickname though, I found kind of lame. And I don't know, I thought this kind of goes into what I was talking about earlier, this maybe being a bit more aimed at kids. I feel like the humor kind of fits that. So right now I don't mind it, even though if I'm not really completely sold on it, I guess. And then there are some cool things you can spot 
lot in the trailer like there's some guys that look heavily based on the prime vehicons that i find very cool there is what looks to be a arachnid possibly a quintesson or quintessons you see starscream soundwave and shockwave who all look pretty okay i find soundwave to be a bit wide and shockwave just something about him looks kind of weird although he also kind of reminds me of that combiner wars legends figure and then b127's uh battle mask to me it looks a lot like gold bug plus i don't know what it is but i feel like his chest pieces are very reminiscent of the chest pieces on the cybertronian mode b127 from the bumblebee movie but it's pretty cool to already see some easter eggs here i'm sure the movie itself will have plenty once it's out so overall here i think this movie has potential i am excited to see it but tell me what did you think about the trailer for transformers 1 do you like the animation the designs the voice cast what are some things that you aren't feeling and are you looking forward to seeing this movie let me know down in the comments before we go i want to thank my patrons on patreon in the average bird tier we have schmoptimus prime and in the bird of prey tier we have austin gillis and darth spooby big thanks to you guys for supporting the channel it is greatly appreciated as always i want to give a big thanks to everyone for watching and have a good one